My teacher said I'd fail. I framed my diploma. Mrs. Henderson told me in front of the entire class that I was too stupid for college and should aim for something more realistic like fast food. This was senior year during college application season. I'd asked her to write me a recommendation letter for State University's engineering program. Instead of a simple no, she decided to humiliate me publicly. Sarah, you barely passed my chemistry class, she announced loudly. Engineering requires actual intelligence. Maybe try community college for cosmetology or something. The whole class laughed. I felt my face burning with shame as she continued her lecture about knowing your limitations and realistic expectations. But here's what Mrs. Henderson didn't know. I was failing her class on purpose. Her teaching was so terrible that I'd been teaching myself chemistry from YouTube videos and library books. I aced every practice test at home, but deliberately bombed her exams because I couldn't stand giving her the satisfaction. Mrs. Henderson had it out for me since day one. When I'd correct her mistakes during lectures, like when she confused ionic and covalent bonds, she'd get defensive and mark me down for disrupting class. She'd give me detention for asking questions that exposed gaps in her knowledge. The final straw was when she gave a completely wrong explanation of chemical equilibrium. I raised my hand to clarify, and she snapped, Sarah, if you think you're so smart, maybe you should be teaching this class. Maybe I should, I replied, which earned me a week of detention and her eternal hatred. I applied to engineering school anyway, using teachers who actually respected me for recommendations. Not only did I get accepted, I got a full scholarship. College was incredible. Professors who encouraged questions, labs with actual working equipment, and classmates who shared my passion for science. I thrived in an environment where curiosity was rewarded instead of hunted. Four years later, I graduated summa cum laude with a degree in chemical engineering. My thesis on sustainable battery technology won the department's top award and was published in a major scientific journal. That's when I had my brilliant idea. I bought the most expensive, elaborate frame I could find and mounted my diploma in it. Then I drove back to my old high school and requested a meeting with Mrs. Henderson. She was still teaching, still crushing kids' dreams with the same condescending attitude. The hallways looked exactly the same, but I felt completely different walking through them. Sarah, what a surprise, she said with fake sweetness when I appeared in her doorway. How's the cosmetology career going? Actually, I wanted to thank you, I said, pulling out my framed diploma. This is my chemical engineering degree. Graduated top of my class. Her smile faltered as she read the Latin honors notation and saw the university seal. I also wanted to give you this, I continued, handing her a business card. I'm now a lead engineer at Tesla. We're developing the next generation of battery technology. Mrs. Henderson's face went white as she read, Sarah Mitchell, senior chemical engineer, Tesla Inc. But the real reason I'm here is to let you know that I'm starting a scholarship fund for students whose teachers tell them they're too stupid for college. I'm naming it the Henderson Scholarship for Academic Resilience. Her mouth fell open. The first recipient will be announced at the school board meeting next month. I'll be sure to mention how you inspired this program during my speech. I could see her mentally calculating how this would look to the administration. Thanks for the motivation. Your complete lack of faith in me was exactly what I needed to prove you wrong. As I walked out, I heard her frantically calling the principal's office. Six months later, Mrs. Henderson quietly transferred to another district. Sometimes the best revenge is succeeding so spectacularly that your doubters become footnotes in your success story.